Hi everyone, welcome to this episode of Carpet Labs. Just a, a quick video to give you a walkthrough about how we can calculate the pH of a solution that results from a neutralization reaction. There's a couple of practice questions in the booklet that you've been given that re relate to this, so I, I thought I'd just guide you through two questions. One short answer question and one multiple choice question along these lines. Okay, so the first one which is on page 56 and is question 17b. Um, Okay, is calculating the pH of a solution um, after 20 mils of 0.01 mole per litre sodium hydroxide um, is added to 50 mils of 0.2 mole per litre hydrochloric acid, um, including a balanced equation in your answer. Okay, so when we're, we're dealing with this, this particular question, we've got the reaction between hydrochloric acid and sodium hydroxide to make sodium chloride and water. Okay, um, we're told that we've got um, so the, for HCl, we've got a, a concentration of 0.2 moles per litre um, and we're told we've got a volume of 0 0.05. Um, for sodium hydroxide, we've got a concentration of 0.01 moles per litre and we've got a volume of 0 0.02. Okay, so what we can say, so we can work out that the moles of sodium hydroxide um, is equal to our volume um, times our concentration. Our litres will cancel and so we get a value of 0 0.00020 moles. Um, for our hydrochloric acid, okay, so that we have um, here, so we've got our same sort of process. So our volume, our 50 litre volume, now 50 mil volume. Now just notice that I am expressing these volumes in litres because I need to be able to cancel out my, my units of litres here. Okay, so just please be aware of that. Um, 0 0.2 moles for every one litre, so um, which gives us 0 0.01 um, moles. Okay, so when we're going to get, have a reaction between these two, we can see we've got a one-to-one -one ratio. So we've got a one-to-one -one ratio. Um, so this means you can see that um, our hydrochloric acid, our acid is in excess, and our base is our, our limiting reactant, or is going to be all used up. And so we're going to be left with an excess number of moles of acid. Um, and so we want to work out um, how many moles of acid we've got in excess because that's what's going to cause the pH of the solution that we end up with. Okay, so we take the number of moles of our base away from our original amount of acid and so we get 0 0.0098 moles. Now, so what we need to do is to turn this into a concentration of, of H plus or hydronium ions. So we have a number of moles and we have a, a volume, but just now be careful here that our volume of to, for calculating our concentration has changed because we had 50 mils of this combined with 20 mils of this. So now we have a different combined volume, 0098 moles divided by our 0 0.050.020 litres. Okay, and so um, we've got 0 0.14 moles per litre. Okay, and so then our pH is, we can put this into our pH formula. And so we get a value to one significant figure of pH 0 0.9. Now the reason I picked one significant figure is that in the question that we're given one significant figure in this value of our acid concentration. So we, that's the maximum number we can report our final answer to. Okay, um, all right, let's now move on. We're gonna look at um, the multiple choice question number 18 on page 57, okay? Okay, so we're talking page 57, uh, question 18. Okay, so we're told we've got a, a the same sort of reaction going on here. So we've got hydrochloric acid plus our sodium hydroxide forming sodium chloride and water. 
Okay, so we've told that we've got so we've got volume and we've got concentration. So we're told that we've got um, 40 mils, that is um, converting that to litres, of 0 0.10 mole per litre sodium hydroxide combining with 60 mils um, of 0 0.10 mole per litre hydrochloric acid. So the same concentrations but different volumes um, initially. Okay. So what we're doing here, um, so we've got to work out, so the moles of our hydrochloric acid, um, so we go out 60 mil volume, um, 0 0.10 moles per litre for every one litre, which gives us 0 0.006 moles. Okay, the moles of our sodium hydroxide, same sort of process, uh, 40 litres times 0 0.10 moles for every 1 litre gives us 0 0.004 moles. So we notice that with a 1 to 1 ratio that our, the moles of our acid are in excess. We have more moles of acid than we do base, so we're going to be left with moles of acid left over. In excess equals 0 0.006 moles minus 0 0.004 moles. I might just be a bit more succinct and do it like that. Um, and so then we get 0 0.002 moles remaining. Okay, so our, we need to, again, turn this into a hydronium ion concentration. So we have 0 0.002 moles in a volume, a, a combined volume, which is now 100 mils or 0 0.10 litres. Okay, and so that gives us 0 0.02 moles per litre. Okay, so pH is equal to minus log to of this value, 0 0.02 moles per litre, which gives us a value of 1.7, which means we would answer B for this particular question. Okay, so you can see that in each question that they were quite similar, um, but uh, so we had an, equ uh, an equation. Now what I did over here is just to, to keep my information ordered, I wrote down where I had volumes and I had concentrations so I could keep track of things a little more easily. I calculated the moles of each substance and then I used the difference between those, taking the, the lesser one away from the larger one, to calculate how many moles of acid were in excess. I used the moles and the new volume to calculate concentration and then from there I could calculate pH. Now in these kinds of questions, I, certainly off the top of my head, I can't remember an example of a question like this where they asked for it to be a basic solution because that requires one extra step which would confuse a lot of students um, given that there are already a few steps coming and going. Okay, So in, in all the ones that I have seen and the practice ones included in your booklet that they actually, those calculations are for a substance which is an acid solution in the end Okay, to make your life a little easier. I appreciate there's still quite a bit of working, especially when you consider this is a multiple choice question. But just remember, multiple choice questions, have, you have um, fewer answers to choose from, but that doesn't mean the question is inherently less work. Um, not every multiple choice would be this long, but it means that you need to be prepared that this can happen. Okay, so I hope that these two work examples help to clear things up a bit for you. Um, if you've got any questions, come see me. Um, but thanks very much for watching. Bye for now.